Hi, it's Steph, and tonight we're at Lowe's, and I'm gonna show you how I shop for mums, what I look for, when I like to purchase mums, and some other options that you can use in your fall plantings instead of mums. Mums are a beautiful plant that are so reminiscent of fall. They're the first plant you think of when you start doing your fall plantings. But there are also other options that you can use and I'll show you some of those in this video as well. Typically mums start showing up in late summer, early fall into the garden centers and nurseries. The thing is, it is still pretty hot out and mums are typically a cool weather plant. So if you buy your mums when it's still really hot out at the end of summer, chances are they're not gonna last for you all of fall. I like to go out shopping for my fall mums or fall plantings on the weekend following the first day of fall. So the first day of fall falls on September 22nd and typically that following weekend is when I like to go out and look for plants that I might want to use in my planters or containers for fall decor. So if I was shopping for mums right now at the end of August, first week of September, I would want to buy a mum that looks like this. One that is very tightly budded. Now the only downside to this is that you're not always certain what color the blooms are going to be. So you have to rely on the tag and trust that it'll be correct. So this one says it's pink and so it's all nice and closed. This would be a mum that would be safe to buy right now at the first week of September because you still have at least a week or two before it is in full bloom. If you bought a mum like this, say, that is half open, half closed, this would take maybe another week or so before it's fully opened, but unless you keep after it by deadheading, and deadheading just means cutting off the spent blooms, you may not have this mum in bloom for very long. Typically, mums bloom anywhere from three to six weeks and less if you don't deadhead them. So that's something you wanna be aware of. Regular deadheading of your spent blooms on your mum's plant will keep it producing new flower buds instead of letting the plant go dormant. Here in the Northeast, mums aren't always perennial. In some zones with warmer climates, they may return as a perennial for you. However, here in my zone 6B, we treat them mostly as an annual. If you planted them, say, in the spring, if you're able to overwinter it by mulching it well and keeping it in a protected location where it's going to get some water, and you plant it in the spring, it could be that it returns for you that fall because it'll have enough time to establish after you plant it. However, if you take this fall blooming mum and you throw it in the ground and plant it, even if you mulch it well, there's a good chance that it won't return for you. So in zone 6B, it is probably best to treat these as an annual. However, it doesn't hurt to try to plant them and see if they return for you as a perennial. Mums are a part sun to full sun plant and they like a consistently moist, well-draining soil. They dry out quite fast and they're really thirsty plants. You can see that these look a little bit sad because they need some water. So something to keep in mind, they will require frequent watering. If you are looking to purchase mums, Lowe's is having a Labor Day sale on them. The three quart of mums is two for $12 and that sale is running 825 through 97. What if you don't like mums or you prefer to use something else in your fall containers and planter arrangements? I'm gonna give you some other options, starting with these pretties here, Montauk daisies. Just like my suggestion with the mums, I would always recommend looking for the plant that has the most number of tightly closed buds on them. That means that you're going to get a longer period of blooms from this plant once you take it home. Let's read some specs on the Montauk daisies. The Montauk daisy is an upright perennial. These containers are 1098. They are hardy to zone five or negative 10 to negative 20 degrees. They get to be about 24 to 36 inches high and 18 to 24 inches wide. 
Here's another really beautiful fall bloom, and this is a type of rutabacchia. It actually looks like a sunflower. This is a Prairie Sun Black-Eyed Susan. It is an upright perennial, full sun perennial. It is 898, hardy to zone five, negative 10 to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. It gets to be about 20 to 24 inches high and 12 to 15 inches wide. Another wonderful container option for your fall plantings is sedum. This particular variety is called neon sedum. Sedum is beautiful throughout the whole season, starting in the spring when it emerges with this beautiful foliage, and then it starts to bud up, and it finally blooms the closer we get to the fall. This variety is called neon, and it's going to have these really beautiful rosy pink blooms, and the pollinators absolutely love these. They are so hardy. So when you plant these out in the fall, if you wanna use them for your containers, you can actually leave them in the container. They'll make it through the winter and come back for you next year just fine. Look how beautiful and large the foliage on this neon sedum is. Gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the specs for you. Neon sedum, it is a full sun perennial. This one is $14.98. It's a little bit larger container, maybe a one and a half to two gallon. They are hardy to zone three, so very hardy at negative 30 to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. They are a size of 24 inches high by 24 inches wide. This is a wonderful option that you can use in your fall containers and something you can leave over winter and they will return for you in the spring. Ornamental grasses, another great option for your fall containers. This one here is a purple fountain grass and in my zone 6B it is only an annual, but these look really beautiful in the landscape as well as in containers. Here at Lowe's they're selling this decorative planter for $18.98. I did buy mine uh, for a little less money at a BJ's wholesale that is kind of like a Costco. You do need a membership to shop there and I bought them for $9.99. However, these here at $18.98, if you're careful about it, it does look like they can be split. Um, you know, if you wanna take the risk, you can maybe get more than one out of it. Kind of looks like they planted three in this container to make the clump look larger. Or you can just buy two of these if you choose to. But they are $18.98, this is an annual. It is full sun. These get to be about four to five feet tall and wide. Only hardy in zones eight and up. I just love ornamental grasses in general. So if you wanted even a perennial grass, you can look at something like a hamlin, which is perennial and would return for you next year. But the color on this purple fountain grass is just lovely for fall. And in no time, it'll start sending up these really furry plumes like you see here in the photo. And they are just absolutely beautiful. Coral bells and hookara, another really beautiful foliage plant that will transition really well into fall. This beautiful hookara here is called Caramel Coral Bell. And I bought this at Lowe's a few weeks back and it is by Monrovia. It usually has this really pretty caramel color when it has more sun. I have been keeping it in the shade so that it wouldn't dry out before I was able to plant it. And this is a full sun or shade perennial. It was $13.98. It says it's deer resistant, which is great because I deal with deer in my garden. It needs one to three hours of morning sun. It likes to be kept semi-moist. The maturity size is 10 to 14 inches high by 14 to 16 wide. It blooms spring through summer. Their blooms are these um, tall wiry stems with these tiny little blooms that are reminiscent of say a baby's breath. And it is hardy from negative 20 to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I also have this beautiful hookara, which typically looks more like this, but in the shade, it tends to get a little bit greener. And this one is called Coral Bells Carnival Watermelon. This is by Vigoro, and I did buy this one at Home Depot a few weeks ago. This is also perennial, and it is part sun. These were 10.98. 
and this one blooms early to late spring. It gets 10 to 12 inches high and it is hardy to negative 30 degrees. So you can see how these plants with this foliage would be a really beautiful option in your fall containers. I hope that you've enjoyed this kind of video. I wanted to take you out shopping with me so that I could show you that at the local box stores, which are mostly accessible to everyone, such as Home Depot and Lowe's, there are a lot of options that you can use when creating your fall plantings or fall containers that aren't just limited to mums. While mums are beautiful, there are so many other perennials, foliage accent plants like coral bells and hookahs, even things like ornamental grasses, that can be utilized in your containers. And when you're done with them, if they're perennial, you can go ahead and plant them out in your landscape and enjoy them for years to come. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content, I would love it if you could subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new videos. You'll be notified when I post. Thank you for hanging out with me and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. And we'll see you soon.